Hello, you two refugees. We thought we'd uh, do a little film today. Um, we're going to do a little bit on awnings. So first of all, I want to show you that this is a, first we've got some tree limbs here. Carefree Colorado. This originally was a mechanical. You had to pull it down and put it in manually, and it was a real pain. So I got these arms, and I got them for 400 bucks, and I painted them black. They were white when I bought them, and I painted them black. And a, a guy convinced me that he needed to install it. And so, one of the first mistakes she ever made is you let someone else do the installation. So once he got done screwing it all up, he got $100 of my money, um, I redid it. So now it's secure. Um, it was, a, it was quite, a, quite an ordeal on this unit to do it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. So there's the awning rolled out. And actually, this part, the blue part, is the original. It's 23 years old. The black part used to be like a tan color. We wanted the colors to match. So that one's only a, a few years old. Anyway, this is nice. It gives you some shade. But I'm going to show you how you can make this really awesome. OK, so you're probably wondering what this is. What we're going to do is we're going to enclose our awning. We're going to put in a, a nice screened in area. It helps keep the refrigerator cool, helps keep this area cool, gives you a little privacy. Um, once again, you can see out, it's hard to see in. You can see in with these, but not as much as you can. I mean, with those up there, you can't see it. But with this, you still can see a little bit. But what's nice about this is it's going to give you some privacy, help keep the bugs out, going to help keep your, your refrigerator cool if it's on the right side and the right side of the motorhome. Keep it cool. I'll start it in the car. will have to help me continue the process. But there's a little slide spot here. Where it slides in. If you want to just grab it and pull it, you can film it while I guide this. Sure. Probably film still. It's as pull easy as I this Let me change hands here okay Still going. Hang on. Okay. There, how's that? So far, so good. Nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I went ahead and moved this this steel here. Stretch this out a little bit more. And like I say, this this is really normally not part of the process, but we we've, we've been in some pretty tough places where we've actually had to, in like a matter of seconds, had to get the awning down. 
And that just, like I say, that keeps it from blowing over. Yeah. Our neighbor right here, his is all destroyed from the other day. Anyway, here's what we added. We added this new cover. We just put this on. So, I'm going to go ahead and... This is basically protection for the bicycles. And we're going to continue to use this. We're going to use it in a different process. So I'm going to tie this down over here. I moved out too. I've got to move these sticks. Anyway, that gives you the idea on that. So now let's go around to the other side. anymore apparently probably tore up a few motorhomes that's part of the reason why I'm kind of real careful about doing the security usually I have a helper but my helper is my <laughs> cameraman so this kind of stuff is always easier with two people as you can probably tell Although, later, as we've gotten in our camping life, Darla tends to run off and visit with the neighbors, and I end up having to do all this by myself. Huh? I can't help, I'm sociable. Yeah. You're only sociable when there's when stuff to do. <laughs> so then this hooks right up there. And then there, I have to drill a hole in there, and that slides in that nice little hole right there. And then that pulls like that. So now that I haven't killed myself, I've only come close. You can see that's gonna make a nice little room. It's see, I got a little deal here that I put up here, it keeps it from sliding down. Go ahead and put that on. These old ones, they always want to slide down on you. So maybe if I turn this ladder facing the right way, I can do this a little more comfortably. What are you putting on there? Well, it's one of those side awning clamps. But, you know, for uh, when we used to have the poles on the side, you could tighten this up. We don't have those poles anymore. Mm -hmm. So this works really good for this. You just kind of wrap it around up there. And you slide that in there. And you tighten that deal down. And then it can't slide down. It's locked in. <laughs> With a clamp. With a clamp. Yeah. You know, you can make bungee shorter, but you can't make them longer. All right, I think. Left one through there, maybe. And that's all you really need. Just so that it just holds it in place. That's nice and free. And then when you walk in here, it's kind of like a zip tent. Yeah. <laughs> it's like cooler, a lot cooler. It's probably 15 degrees cooler in here. Yeah, much more comfortable. And now we can clean up this mess we had to throw on the yeah, table for that the... that was a rush job the other day. Yeah. The weather was really radical. Anyway, we'll get it all cleaned up and we'll show you what we got when we get it cleaned up.
have it. We have two side awnings. It gives a, a nice little feeling in here. It's cooler in here. Like I say, it gives you some privacy, it gives you shade, it gives you a nice spot to kind of just kick back after a long day and maybe have a coffee or an iced tea or something outside. Um, good to come out here and eat dinner, whatever you want to do. Nice thing. So, I mean, it's not a lot of work. It's a little bit of work. I probably make it look a little harder because it was my first time setting this end up. This is what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to lift that up. And, and then that way, if a big wind gets a hold of it, it's going to kind of lift a little bit. Most of the wind will never lift it up as hard as I just did right there. But there's wind that, I mean, even it doesn't matter how tight you get it tied down, it can just rip this thing right off. So. You, you just have to keep an eyeball on the weather reports, which that's one of the things we do a lot. I keep my radar always on on my phone so I can watch it. And uh, yeah, it makes it nice. So uh, thanks for watching. Do me a big favor and subscribe. Hit the little bell if you would like to have notifications. And now that we've gotten to a five day work week and two days off, we can start doing a little more of this kind of stuff. I got some stuff coming up on water heaters and I'm actually gonna be pulling the transmission back out of this motor home because I gotta put a front pump seal now in the tranny because it started leaking. I got a new jack today, so within the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing that. So thanks again for watching. We really appreciate you watching. We appreciate you taking the time to sit down and watch these ridiculous videos. Thank you and have a great day.